Good day. Today's topic is going to be tubular locks and lock picks. Tubular locks are not as popular as they once were years ago. You see them on vending machines and washing machines mostly. Uh, they're gone to the wayside sort of like uh, wafer locks and water locks have. But they're still out there. They come in different uh, top of my configuration, 7, 8, and 10, and maybe even more. But the most uh, popular one in the U.S. is a 7-pin. And you can get various different type of manufacturers making these things. This is probably the most popular one used, the whole pick set. You can get it on Banggood. Some of the websites, probably on eBay and even on uh, Amazon. It comes in three sizes, a 7, a 7.5, and a 7.8. And these two, this is a, I believe, a Danube, Danube pick. And it also, you can purchase this in... Uh, a set of three as well, a 7, 7.5, and a 7.8 like this is. This is a Southward, and this comes in different configurations too. You can get uh, a 7-pin or an 8-pin, I think maybe a 10-pin as well. This is 7.8. Pull this one out. Are you here? You'll see zero seven point eight. It's on there, and here. Let's see. There it is. Seven point eight. There isn't a, a marking on the southward, but this is a seven point eight. Well, now in order to pick the tubular locks, you have to set the pick for it. And you have to, uh, well, let's let you see what it looks like. It has a set of seven needles. You can see one right there. I'll move it. And what this does is when you insert it into the lock, these match on top of each of the tumblers inside the lock and basically impression the lock and you will stick this into the lock and then rotate the body of the pick and it will gradually the uh, tumblers the pins will push up the uh, needles here to the correct height and theoretically open the lock like this one here here are the needles in order to set it to zero, basically, zero sets, what they call call it. You take the ring and you push it forward till the needles come down to the very bottom. And if they're not perfectly aligned, like these aren't, take it and you push it down on a hard surface tabletop so that they're all flush. This one works a little bit differently. You can see these are flush already. And after this is used and you've impressioned the lock, these needles will all come up to different levels. Basically in order to get it set to zero again, you'd be pushing on this washer and it'll push them down so that they're flush. And if you want perfectly flush, just push it down on the tabletop to get it flush. On the southward, this is a little bit different. See, these are flush already. So after you impression it, it will rise up to different levels. But to really to zero this out, you take the wash that's here, push it all forward. 
and you'll see all the needles come out. And to uh, set it, you place it on a tabletop, push it all the way down till they're flush. And they're not perfect like that. Just do it again until they get it as perfect as possible, like that. Now, even though these are all 7.8, they're not the same. The tolerances between them are different, which is problematic. Uh, one pick will fit into a lock at 7.8, but this one won't fit into it, or this one won't fit into it. You'll get another lock that that will fit into, but this one won't, and this one won't. And I'll show you what I mean here. Here is a seven pin lock, and here is the Hulk, and it won't fit into it. This tool is just a little bit too small in diameter. That diameter. Also, let me mention this. You'll see a pin right there. That's what's tensioning the lock, that's what goes into here. very bottom part of the core here. And this is what's being tensioned when this is being rotated. Now this one fits in there fine. The south hood is too big. It won't fit. But they're all supposedly 7.8. But only this one will fit. Same thing with here. This is a master. This will fit fine. This, let's see where the hook is right there, will fit fine. But this one, again, the hole is too small and it won't fit. So when you're buying these things, you may not get what you're paying for. So it's a buyer beware on this. The Southward is probably the most accurate of these. And even this one is, I think, more accurate than this one. This seems to fit all the uh, 7.8 locks, tumbler, uh, tubular locks I've tried. But this one does not. So, my advice is to do your research on it. Ask some other people who do uh, tubular locks which one they use, which one they prefer that works on most of the locks they use. And let's try and pick some of these locks. set up in the vise. And we have some practice locks here, the cheap ones you've seen on eBay, other places. They show you the pin stacks in there. see the uh, top pins here, seven of them. Get that in there. Now even though this opens or inserts into this particular lock and most of the locks I use, I've never successfully open a lock consistently with this tool. Now it might be that this particular one I have is faulty, I don't know. I just uh, can't get it to seem to, uh, to work. So I've ordered another three-piece set and seeing whether that's the problem or not. If it uh, 
if this is just effective, then this set probably is your best buy if you don't want to spend a whole lot of money. Okay, we'll try this pick first. And in order to put tension on these uh, needles here, you have to revolve, turn this neural knob. The tighter you turn it, the more tension is applied to the needles. The lighter, the lighter. The same thing like with a pen tumbler and a uh, tension wrench. And you have to uh, practice and each lock has a different tension just like uh, a padlock does. So uh, it might not be able to open up on the first try. It may take several tries in order to get the tension correct. So I'll try this the way I have it right now and see if we can open up the practice lock. Stick it in and rotate it back and forth. take a long time. Sometimes you'll see lock picking Lori and Bosnian Bill open it up in three shakes. But that's just them, I think. If that doesn't work, then you may have to reset it. Do that by pushing down on this. Get the needles all the way back up again. Adjust the tension a little bit either lighter or more tension. Try it again. There we go. Unlocked. There's that one. Here is another one. It has a, uh, a different key. It's not key the same. Now, with this pick and the southward pick, you can tighten this knob up once you've opened the lock up, and theoretically, this becomes a key that you can reopen it. But this, this particular one, this doesn't always work. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Don't know why. Need to zero it back out again. And we insert it. And rotate. Just need to reset this. Maybe I'll lighten up on the tension a little bit, like that, and try it again. There we go. It opened. try this master. This is a master series 7200. Tubular lock. And this lock is recessed down in there. And that doesn't matter much with a uh, tubular lock pick because it doesn't matter how far it goes. These have fairly long noses to get down into there if you do have any like that. The problem you'll run into with a recess is trying to use a goat wrench on it. You can't get the uh, 
coat wrench all the way down in there to grab onto the cylinder to tension it. So you either have to make some sort of pick yourself in order to tension it and be able to uh, insert your pick and pick each one of the uh, pins individually while you're tensioning it. And let's see here. I have the key to this one. It has a strong spring on it. And it's a very heavy lock. Very secure. We'll use the uh, southward on this one. And we've got it zeroed out. I'll show you again how you do that. Pins are sticking out. That's after you pick something. And to zero it out, you push down on something flat. Make sure the pins are done. All right, that's not flat enough. Try one more time. There. That's better. Now, this, as you can see, has a pin in it right there. That has to go in to that notch down here at the bottom to tension it. So we line that up in there like that. Depress on the pick and then begin rotating. a while your hand will begin to cramp up if you're doing this for five minutes off and on trying to get the tension right and everything there we go it's opened now if I reach here tighten this down relock this Place this into the lock if I can find it. And it should unlock it. And it does. So you can use these to, uh, if you have a, uh, a key coder for a tubular lock, you can measure the depth of each of the. Uh, needles. You can see that's down, that's flush, that's gone. It will measure the depth and give you a, a number code that you can take to a locksmith to uh, make yourself another key. That's all I have for tonight. I hope you've learned something. If you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments below and please subscribe and uh, talk to you later.